What's up, everybody? It is Shingen Oni here, and we are back with the last set of training. Hopefully, we'll see. We have the last three sections overcharge, trick shots, and moving and dodging. They should not be too complicated, but let's see what we can learn as we continue on reading these tips and tricks. While we wait, go ahead and give this video a like. Hopefully you learned something and hopefully it gets you excited to play this game when it properly properly releases, excuse me. You're at the knockout roundabout. You'll learn how to push your dodgeballs past the speed limit. Follow the various radio bot instructions and kick this baby into overcharge. Hopefully there's not too much going on. Overcharge, and this training will teach you everything you need to know about overcharge. Overcharge makes the ball go faster than just a normal full charge. You get overcharge in two ways. Pass or perfect catching an incoming ball. That being said, let's look this out. This roundabout is always busy, so you gotta watch out for traffic. The cars will knock you away when they hit you. But they don't hurt. Jump on top of them for a free ride through the city. Didn't your mom ever tell you not to play in traffic? <laughs> yeah, mine neither. Hold L to charge a pass, release to throw it. Passing as a tier of overcharge, but cannot get higher than tier one. You automatically catch an incoming pass. No input required. Practice passing with the dummy teammate. All right. There you go. When you have four more tiers of overcharge, the bar becomes supercharged. It's crazy fast, but can only get supercharged from a perfect catch. Supercharge caps out at tier six. Remember, you gotta stand in circle in front if of you time the catch perfectly, you'll overcharge the ball and recover protocols. faster. Press the at the last possible moment to a perfect catch. Each perfect catch adds a tier up to tier six. Stand in a circle, practice, practice perfect catching. I will give it a shot. I think that's tier three. Yeah, I think it's pretty fast. I think it's ridiculously fast, actually. Let's find out what's next. You can't receive a pass if you're already holding a ball. Instead, the pass will reflect back towards the original thrower. Press L to pass ball to the teammate and reflect it back for a quick tier one overcharge don't forget you can pass nearby teammates even when you're not looking at them oh wow that's badass that is pretty convenient how do these things always know exactly where you are we pass your teammate you'll give them a heads up by shouting here press l your hands are empty to call for a pass instead This is a sniper ball. I've not seen this ball at all yet. There's a lot of balls that I haven't seen. An absolute beast of a long range combat. A hold ZR or ZR to target opponents super far away. Keep holding for a full lock. When the lock's full, throw a blindingly fast shot. Without it, it'll be a slower tumbling shot. Charging shots will reset the charge, so be patient when locking on. Section. That is great. I recommend jumping into a match while the lessons are still fresh in your mind. Open the menu to choose where to go next. Show them how much of a speed demon you really are. That's interesting. It's like a little football. Let's move on to the next training, which I believe is trick shots. I believe it's trick shots. I'm not entirely sure, though.
Oh, it's not apparently. Uh, double jump. You can press A or X to spin or flip. Uh, spin and flip are used for trick shots, but they also give you extra height when you're in the air. Okay. What a tranquil rooftop garden. I wouldn't linger too long. You're technically trespassing. Okay. Press R. Well, the right thumbstick. Excuse me. Press the right thumbstick to fake throw. I did not know that you could do that. Use this to trick other brawlers into dodging or catching, then hit them with the real thing. Try holding ZR to lock into the dummy and then press the right thumbstick. It's kind of cool. That multi-millionaire Malcolm Mac cage ball traps people in ball form until suit. a timer Says runs out. There's no breaking out of the cage place. by mashing. Out with the old and in with the new, I guess. You'll just have if to you ask me, that kind serve of your time. Cage players can be thrown the same as any other ball form player, so watch out. Lamplight. I got my start there. Brawling during the day and DJing at night. No matter the beef, everyone was friends at the old lamplight. See, release throw. So, ZR immediately after pressing flip to throw a lob shot. Use the shot over short walls or up high ledges. Practice with the dummy. Remember, release should throw while flipping. That is kind of nice. Whatever you do, don't look down, baby. Release throw immediately after pressing the spin to throw a curve shot. Use this shot to throw around corners and hit opponents from the side. Okay. Quitting time. That's the final training lesson. You should take these new skills into a match. You can be. Here we go. Open the menu to choose where to go next. Take the fight to him. Put the side of fries. The last training is moving and dodging. But there's a lot for you to learn in this game. This game actually has some some depth to it. I don't know how good it'll be in the long run, but it definitely does have some type of depth to it. Down here in Back Alley Brawl, we're gonna have some real fun. You gotta try balling up and hopping in those vacuum tubes for a real wild ride. Follow the various radio bot instructions and pay attention. What you'll learn here could mean the difference between victory and defeat. Interesting. So you can sprint by putting pushing down the left thumbstick. Yes. To dodge, aim in the direction that you want and then press Y. This will break incoming on uh, this will break homing on any incoming throw. So start dodging as soon as you can. Stand in a circle and practice dodging. Okay. So just like that. Gotcha. Bomb ball detonates on impact and hits everyone in range. And we mean everyone. Be careful, the fuse starts as soon as you pick it up. That is the bomb ball right there. The yellow tube takes you straight to drainage. Walk into the Watch tube to fly across the Those map in a flash. The yellow tubes will send you right over the, the drainage pit. Someone should really close that lid. Find all three tubes and see where they go. Bingo! Nice. Press Y to dodge head first into a hostile ball to deflect it away. Then in a circle and practice dodging. Nice. Dodge brawling is dirty work, and this place is the Ooh, best. Press Y to dodge into opponents and tackle them. Why and not I'm just not say tackle? Being paid to say that. 
This won't deal damage, but it'll knock their ball loose instead of flying. Aim your tackle the dummy and try knocking him off the earth. That is a quick kill. The green tube will zip you over to Green Ivy. Not a lot of greenery up here on the moon. Turns out terraforming is harder in practice than on paper. Right, right. So until they figure it out and try again, it's just me and my cactus. Okay, you and your cactus. Well, anyways, ivy tube, tubes, tubes, and more tubes. The green tube will send you over to the ivy corner. That is fine. Bingo! Bingo is right. Okay, canceling charge. Start to throw, but change your mind. You can cancel your charge by dodging, so pressing Y, catching, and sprinting will all cancel your throw while charging. Sprinting is the fastest way to cancel your charge. Not bad. Hop it into the red tube will transport you to the noodle shop. They exclusively serve brawlers here, and there's enough of us to keep them in business for years. Mention I sent you, and they might just throw in some extra fish cakes. Last thing is just taking this final two. Yeah! All right, all right, all right. That's the final training lesson in this section. You got the moves. Now why not show them off in a real match? Open the menu to choose where to go next. Dodge, duck, and dive, baby. There you go. That seems like it is all the training. Let's go verify. Let's make sure. But all the training is complete, so there shouldn't be any questions, you know? This this is it. This is it. They expect you to be able to play after these tutorials. Now, if I went a little bit too fast, then, of course, you can always slow down the video, rewind, go back. Or if there's something that you missed out on, please watch the previous video. But, uh... To give a recap, I definitely think this game has a lot more than what people expect. I think that there is some extra tech and extra maneuvers that you could probably learn and finesse and play around with. So, if you're going to play the game, just enjoy. Try and have fun with it. Does this take me anywhere? not really too much else so i hope you like this little mini series of what to do and how to do it uh, you know uh, find out for yourself this game is for you give it a chance this is not sponsored by anybody by any means it's just playing it for fun and spreading the information with that being said i appreciate everybody Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And that's it for the tutorial series. I will see you guys next time.